Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your very own FPS controller and when you're in your main screen you want to create a just a general node that way we can add UI and stuff on top of it as well and our 3D elements we'll name that world we're going to create a node 3D and underneath it uh, let's name that objects and of course it's going to contain all our objects so if we type in C SG box 3D this is going to be what our ground is. It's like a mesh and a collision shape. And I'm just going to scale that down. So now that we've got our floor, we need to select use collision. We select that on. That means our player will be able to collide with this mesh. And if you want, you can you know, change the material. And of course, you can create how many more other objects you want. Now, once we've got our general scene set up, we're going to go over to the top node and we're going to create a character body and of course this character body needs a shape and as always we're going to create a mesh instance and that's going to be our bean and of course we're going to create a collision shape as well so if you search for collider or collision shape 3d you can set the shape to be a capsule we're going to create two general node 3ds and then we're going to create one more node 3d and then a camera so the second ones are our actual targets and then the, the first ones are just the uh, target so we're going to name that head target and then the node 3d here is going to be named camera target on top here actual head and then actual camera now we're going to just adjust the positions of these so the actual head is going to be around about here now on our character body we will get this general script and you'll see some constants up here we're going to actually create a few more I'm going to create speed, which is going to be a float. This is going to be a variable because we can change that whether we sprint or crouch. And then we'll just define the crouch and sprinting speeds. And we're just going to delete the other constant. Oh, it's just regular speed. And then we've got two more. One's going to be our sensitivity. Now we're going to create our references for the nodes. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to head target. We're going to go select and drag it over. And before you drop it, you're going to hit control and hold control and it will create an actual variable. This is what I do without holding control. You'll see it just creates a reference. So let's just do that for the other ones as well. Now that we've got our references in ready, we are going to set the mouse input to be captured. What this will do is just means that the game will capture the mouse movements. Now we're going to handle the mouse input for the camera rotation in unhandled input. Unhandled input is all the inputs like WASD or any mouse movement or any mouse button click or literally anything that the player is doing on their keyboard or mouse, uh, which isn't including any GUI items. So in this one, we're going to check if the event is an input event mouse motion, which means the mouse has moved from its last position. And then we're going to rotate our head targets. So what this is going to do is it's going to rotate our head target on the Y axis like this, like around the player like so. And it's going to take the X relative movement of the mouse. And we're going to do a similar thing, but for the up and down movement. Obviously now we're moving up and down and we're going to rotate that on the X direction like so. And right now what would happen if you run it is if you try and go down along the Y axis, it would just keep rotating along the Y axis. It would keep going past your feet and back up again. So that's not what we want. So let's actually do a clamp. And what clamp does as a function is as the name suggests it limits a value to its min and maximum values now for the actual movement in the process function first of all we need to sort out what's going to happen with our targets and our head so what we do in process is we're going to use something which is called linear interpolation or lerp for short which means it's going to smooth out two values and kind of create a nice transition in between the two so the values in question are going to be our translation and our rotations of the head and camera. So let's go actual head position dot X. The reason why we're not doing just position in general 
is because of the crouching we're going to implement later. If you don't want crouching, you can just do position and then just the player position. But we need to do it separate if we want to also do crouching. Now we're just going to duplicate this and just replace the X with a Z. You can tweak with the figures a little bit, but I find that it's better to actually multiply it by another five again, because if you don't do it, it seems a little bit laggy and I would like the linear interpolation to be a little bit more snappy. Next, we're going to lerp the actual camera rotation and it's going to be lerp angle, which is different because it will take into account when it comes over from zero to 360. And finally, we're going to get the actual head rotation dot Y. But for now, let's just change this up. So we shouldn't be using UI actions. So I'll show you how to set up your own actions. You come to project settings, go to input map, and then you can add any new action. So let's add jump. This doesn't have to be an uppercase, but I just like to, and we'll do space. Now we'll go forward, and that can be W, and it can also be arrow key forward. Now just do the same for the rest. Sweet, now we've got all of our actions. We can change that to jump. Now we're going to handle the different speeds before we do this stuff. First, we're gonna test if we have pressed crouch. I'm gonna set our speed to crouch speed. And we're gonna do the same for sprint. And if nothing else, we're gonna set our speed to walk speed. Now, another thing I would like to implement with crouch is to shift our camera to go a little bit down when we crouch. We can actually do that by setting the actual head position. And we're going to set it to be 0.3 units below our current player position. Now you can tweak this value as much as you want. You can set it to as much as one or whatever. But I find that even just doing something like 0 0.3, 0 0.5, whatever you want should suit your project. And of course we are going to multiply it by delta times acceleration. And I'm gonna times it by four. And we're gonna copy and paste that in all of those, except in these ones, we're just gonna set it to our normal position.y. And let's just change up these UI actions as well. And instead of being transform.basis, we're gonna get the head direction. So we'll go actual head, which is gonna be the direction the actual head is pointing, dot transform, dot basis. Finally, let's change up these walk speeds to be our speed variable. But the problem with this is we're not linear interpolating. So let's do just that. And we're gonna do the same for if we aren't pressing anything, except we're gonna have the weight amount to be less. We can run the scene and we can stop in the air and, and we can like start moving in the air. But you'll notice that in a lot of games, when you're in the air, you don't have that much control of your movement. So what we're gonna do instead of that is we're going to tab this up and we're gonna check first before doing this if is on floor. And if so, we can just do what we were doing before. But if it isn't, we're going to, again, copy and paste what we just had there. And instead of times it by two, we're gonna times it by something like 0 0.5. Cool, so that's all for this tutorial, hopefully. You enjoyed this FPS character controller tutorial. Hopefully it helped out with uh, your problems and hopefully it adjusted uh, the issues that you're having when the, the camera was getting quite jittery, especially when you're moving it a lot. So I definitely know that I had quite a few issues with that when I was doing it myself. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.